Nanakuma. I'm Daiki Ando, a 20 year old high school graduate aiming to become a vet. It all happened on a hot summer day. Huh? Is it a delivery man or something? Yeah? Oh, she's attractive. Daikini chan. Hello. Um, who are you? Do I know an attractive girl like her? I'm your fiance. <laughs> fiance? I'm moving in with you today. She's attractive, but a freak. Uh, no, you can't. Bye. Well, wait, I'm not a freak. I'm Kurumi. Oh, Kurumi? Really? Seems like you recalled me. Oh, you've grown a lot. She's Kurumi Kawasaki, a girl who's four years younger than me. We used to live in the same neighborhood. Wait, how did you know my place? Your mother told me. What did you come here for? I told you I'm your fiance. I came to move in with you. What do you mean by that? How did you get here? You promised to marry me. I have a marriage certificate. Fill this out. Huh? Did I? I don't remember. Ugh. I did, yeah. One day when I was a fifth grader, I got to know her. Nice to see you. Oh, so she's a girl. Kudumi's hair was short and she wore a t-shirt and short pants all the time. She looked like a boy back then. Daiki, you hold hands with her on the way to school. Okay. Kudumi chan, let's go. Yeah? She became so friendly to me that she visited at my house since we started going to school together. Daikini-chan, let's play! You should play with girls in your grade. Playing with you is more fun. Well, whatever. Wanna play video games? Yeah! Come in! You entered middle school. We can't go to school together anymore. I feel lonely. How is middle school? I'll be busy with club activities and exams. Oh, you know, I decided to join the baseball club. Oh, really? That's great! I'll have club activities every day. We'll be unable to hang out. What? You have other friends. I want to hang out with you. A middle school student was busy. Oh. I joined the baseball club and started going to cram school. I became so busy that I didn't see Kudumi anymore. Daikini-chan, it's been a while. Hey, Kudumi, you still wear boys' outfits, huh? Is it strange? No, why? Um, my classmates asked me why I always wore boys' outfits. They said I'd never get a boyfriend at this rate. Oh, elementary school students talk like that? Scary. Um, I won't be able to marry at this rate. You don't have to worry. But... I know you're very attractive. Then, Daikini-chan... Will you marry me? Jeez, kids nowadays. Yeah, sure. Yay! This is a promise. Yeah. Well, I bet she'll forget soon. After that, I moved into the high school's dormitory and started living by myself after graduating from high school. Of course I forgot about that promise. Did you recall? I did. Good, I'll come in. W wait, how old are you? 16 years old. Then you're legally not allowed to marry yet. You can't marry until you turn 18. What? I thought I could as long as my parents allowed me to. They changed the law. Ugh, I didn't know that. And you need your parents' permission anyway. Do they know about this? I thought things would be okay if I married you. I turned 16, so I came here. Don't tell me you didn't tell them anything. I left a note like, I'll marry Daikini-chan. Give me a break. I attend a high school that's close to your place. I'll work part-time and pay you money. I won't cause you trouble. That's not the point. Anyway, let's talk inside. Come in. Yeah. Who to me? So you were going to marry me from the beginning? Yeah. Since the day you said I was cute and you'd marry me. I worked hard to become attractive. I grew my hair and studied fashion. I studied hard to enter high school, too. Yeah, you changed a lot. Did I become attractive? Wow, y yeah, you did. I don't have to be surprised like that. Glad to hear that. But I can't accept this. Why? Are you seeing someone? No. You think you'll never fall for me? Uh, honestly, she really is my type, but... 
Listen, you're a high school student. You're a minor. Yeah. And you know what I am. A high school graduate who failed college entrance exams. Yeah, I failed the entrance exam for two years in a row. My parents still send me money. I'm not independent yet. Honestly, I'm up to my eyes with my own stuff. I know. That's why I want to take care of you. Don't worry. I got better at cooking, cleaning, and doing the laundry for this day. Come on, I can't cause you trouble. You won't cause me trouble. I want to help you. I'm your fiance. Um, I said I'd marry you to cheer you up because your classmate teased you for you being like a boy. I'm sure you'll meet new people. You'll fall for someone else. You don't have to devote yourself to me. No, I'm doing this because it's you. Daiki Nichan is the one for me. You don't have to marry a dropout like me. We'll overcome the difficulty together. I'm determined. What should I do? Anyway, I'll call your parents. Tell me their phone number. Okay. I took her home and spoke with her parents. I'm sorry that she suddenly visited you. She always said she'd marry you as soon as she turned 16, but I never thought she'd go see you with a marriage certificate. I'm determined to marry him. Honey. Kurumi, you can't do it just because you want to. Did you ever think about his feelings? I'm glad about her feelings, but I'm a fame seeker. She's a high school girl. Even if she were 20 years old or something, I could never take care of her. I told you, I will take care of you. Dad, Mom, please. Let me stay at his place at least during summer vacation. If you won't let me, I'll run away from home. Hey, Kudumi. I'm serious. Jeez. She's always been stubborn. So, Daikiku, what do you think? You think she can support you during summer vacation? Yeah, that's beneficial to me, but are you two okay with that? You've always taken good care of her since she was little. I trust you. If it's not too much for you, I'd like you to let her stay beside you. Then let me call my parents. I believe that they would never allow me to do that, however... Oh, that's good. I won't have to go clean your place or cook for you anymore. M Mom, she's 16. Are you sure? I say you can date her, but don't lay your hand on her. I know. Daiki, I bet you were surprised. She became attractive, right? She told me that she worked hard to draw your attention. She's so devoted. <coughs> Can't believe she said that to my mother. Ask her to take good care of you. What a mother. Um, she said she's okay with this thing. Yay! I can live with you! Hey, don't embrace me. Boo! And so, I started living with Kudumi. I worried that I'll give in. Daikini-chan, we will be together all the time. I told you, don't embrace me. And this is only during summer vacation. Jeez. Uh, my heart will be wrecked. I thought I could never focus on studies with Kudumi in my apartment, but I don't know why I can focus more than before. I realized that it was because I found it comfortable to be with her, not because she did all the housework. Maybe it's because we used to play a lot. Daikini-chan, you got a minute? Yeah. She always talks to me like this to avoid getting in my way of studying, so she learned to be considerate. Dinner is ready. Thanks, I'm hungry. Good. Mackerel grilled with salt, boiled pumpkin, stir-boiled beans, and miso soup. They will help you become smart. <laughs> I never you'd help me this way. Thanks. This is great. You're really great at cooking. I can be your wife anytime you want. <coughs> well, putting that aside, what should I do? I used to stay at home all the time since I studied on my own. Going to a college preparatory school would have cost a lot to my parents. Going grocery shopping with Kudumi made me feel refreshed. Daikini-chan, the pork is on sale. Oh, I gotta buy some. Oh, the eggs are also cheap. One package for one person? I'm glad we came here together. Now you're like a wife. Food costs the most. We should be careful. Well, I wanna buy some ice cream. We can buy some ice cream. Thanks. I would have bought whatever I needed. That was all if I came here alone. 
being with her makes everything fun. But there's times when she puts me into trouble. Daikini-chan, I'll wash your back. I don't need you to. Hey, you should sleep in the bed too. No way. Come on. I don't think I can hold myself back. One day, someone talked to us from behind when we were walking in town. Oh, Kurumi? Naho, it's been a while. Jeez, Kurumi, you never reply to us. Sorry, I've been busy. You didn't join us going shopping and to karaoke. We're going to a swimming pool someday soon. You'll come, right? Um, sorry. Oh, sorry. I interrupted you two on a date. No, we're not on a date. I'm living with him. This is Daikini-chan. Oh, is he your brother? I thought you were an only child. Oh, she'll misunderstand a lot. Um, you know, we used to live in the same neighborhood. I'm marrying him. I live with him as his fiance. Hey, Kurumi, we're not engaged, and it's just during summer vacation. Oh. So I'm busy during summer vacation. Sorry. Okay. See you. See you. So you've never replied to your friends lately? Not all the time, though. But they never stop once I reply. I don't want to let my time go to waste. Did you turn them down when they asked you out? Yeah, I want to spend my time with you. Come on, you don't have to prioritize me all the time. You should cherish your friends, too. You lose them at this rate. I can see them when school starts. I can only see you during summer vacation. I need to make you fall for me before it ends. I don't have time to hang out with them. At this moment, I realize for the first time, she's serious about me. She's seriously going to marry me. Part of me always thought that she wasn't serious after all. Who to me? Sorry. Let's head back and talk. Okay. I didn't know you were that serious about me. Sorry. I am serious. I'm in love with you. I want you to feel the same way about me. Thinking I can't see you anymore after summer vacation scares me a lot. Okay, but I want you to cherish your friends and have a great school life. You should go back to your parents. No, I will not. You said I could be with you during summer vacation. It's not over yet. I can't give up on you. Who to me? Huh? You're misunderstanding. I won't let you leave me. So I'm going to see your parents. What do you mean? I'll ask your parents if I can live with you after summer vacation ends. As my fiancé. As your fiancé? Because I love you. I can't marry you right now, though. When I graduate from college and get independent, will you marry me? Daikini-chan... Yes. If we're going to spend the rest of our lives together, we don't have to hurry. So I say we'll cherish both your school life and our alone time. Okay. I'll tell my friends I'm sorry. After that, our parents and the school accepted us living together as fiancés. And then... There! My number is there! Yeah! Congrats! I finally passed the exam for the Faculty of Veterinary Medicine of the college I was aiming for. The faculty is for six years, and I failed the exam twice. So coincidentally, I graduated from college at the same time as Kurumi. Daikini-chan, congratulations on your graduation. You too. I'm glad that you got hired by the Nanakuma Corporation. Yeah. You passed the national exam to become a vet. Now you can work with your father. My father runs a veterinary hospital. I decided to become a vet with my will. But I almost gave up on my dream at one point since I failed the entrance exam twice. I've come this long way because you supported me. Thank you. I'm glad that you came to my place that day. I'm also glad that you didn't refuse me. And I was able to clear things up with my friends since you told me to cherish them. Udumi, let me tell you this one more time. I want you to marry me. I'm not full-fledged yet, but I thought I wanted to have closure as a man. When I graduated from school and started working, we've been living together as fiancés, but I want to marry you. I'm so happy. I thought you'd never marry me until you became full-fledged as a vet. I was going to, actually, but my parents told me not to make you wait anymore. I have to thank them. I couldn't wait any longer, either. Daikini-chan. Don't call me that anymore. Call me Daiki from now on. 
Yeah, Daiki. I love you. I love you too. When she suddenly visited me, I was really surprised. But now that I think about it, I believe we were meant to be together. I made her wait a long time for me and caused her a lot of trouble. In order to make up for it, I'm going to make her as happy as one can be. 